lot of investment has gone into modern technology. That allows us to be able to do analysis, so test analysis, stress analysis on the component parts to make sure that we are value engineering the product which is going to be created. We are minimising cost, increasing efficiency and timescales for production. From the computer design back here in the office, straight to the machine, press the button and away we go. We're working towards a more industrialised building model. There's also the safety aspect. Work carried out in a workshop such as this is statistically a lot safer than work carried out on site. Gear at, at Doncaster, the office, was off-site manufacturer. So the concrete prefabricated blocks we have came to site already made and the shell of the office was put up in four weeks. Which makes the whole operation safer, leads to higher levels of quality and also increase the speed of the build. There isn't another site that has this capability in the, in the UK. It is world class. So what's really special about um, the buildings here at Bentley Works is that they're the first deep green project uh, in the UK. Deep green project is one that has near zero impact on the environment. Green technology is perceived as more expensive, but often it's not. The ability to be involved in the design and the construction from a very early stage means that we can limit the additional cost. There is additional investment, however, and the reason that we're able to make that additional investment is because we, we know and we can model that the cost for energy, water and the like are far cheaper given the measures that we've implemented and as a tenant we get the benefit of that directly. Yeah, there's the solar panels on the roof. The lighting, you notice that it's all done on sensors. Oh, we have biofuel. Well, one of my favourites is the underground silos that create, um, collect all the rainwater. So we burn the oil that we use in our rigs, so that's taken out. And we collect that and we put it in the burner to re recycle it. That's green. All the lighting is energy efficient LED lighting. That's green. That's deep green. We have hot water on tap so we don't have to boil kettles. At these vents during the summer it keeps the, the workshop cool. The roof harvests uh, rainwater, the air is blown through these and the, the, the cool water keeps the air cool. It's a great opportunity for us to put our money where our mouth is. One of Skanska's core values is sustainability and it's important that when we get the opportunity to invest in our own infrastructure and our own assets that we do so sustainably. Bentley Works has shown that we're willing to invest and shown we really are a green company that delivers what we say we're going to deliver. Because it's a way forward for Skanska as a business. We want to invest in doing green business with our suppliers, with our clients. We want to build green buildings. It's something we want to do. It's the way forward for the environment. We have to. That is deep green. Part of that investment is actually to grow the business. So it's to employ more people in Doncaster. Best thing about Bentley Works? The people. I have worked here since 2000 and one. At 16 I had a summer job here. I'm only six months in Skanska. Gosh, I've been here 25 years now. It was my dream job, to be honest. I've worked here for nearly 30 years. What it's meant for a lot of families is a continuation of the generations. My granddad was one of the directors. It's my dad. <laughs> and therefore I am third generation recruit. The company is only really worth the collective of the individuals that work there. The more heavily they invest in us, the better we work, the happier we are, and the more invested we are in Skanska. And I think that's evident that they do invest in us. Bentley Works demonstrates, I believe, the best of Skanska. It's about people working together uh, to deliver uh, work that they're proud of. And I think, certainly, I felt a very strong sense of family and community having been here the last two and a half years. And, and I, think, I think that portrays, uh, in my mind, what, what Skanska is about.